Yeah, load and explode. Load and explode! Okay, it's gotta be the trophy position. Trophy position. Racket speed, racket speed, racket speed! Alright, so in this video I'm gonna share with you three unusual ways to get more serve power, but before we do, I gotta ask you a question. Why? Why do you want more serve power? Is it because you just want to blast bigger serves and look cool? Or is it because you want to win more matches? Because if you want to win more matches, power comes way down the road. What we want to focus on first is being able to place the ball in a very specific area 70% of the time. And once you can do that, then and only then do you start talking about power and spin. You see, we think about the serve as the first of a two-shot combination as opposed to one shot, see what happens. Oh, yeah. No chance, no ch You see, a lot of players think of the serve as one shot, and they kind of react to what happens next. But we think about the serve as the first of a very strategic two-shot sequence that's designed to set up your forehand. So if you want to win more matches, focus on placement first, consistency, and then start thinking about power. With that disclaimer out of the way, let me show you how to get more serve power. All right, so I learned this from my good mentor, Don Henson. He said, the first thing you gotta have before you talk about power is a foundation. That makes a lot of sense. We wouldn't build a house on a faulty foundation, wouldn't hit a good serve on one either. So you gotta make sure that you're balanced throughout the entire service motion. All you gotta focus on is, are you balanced on the finish? And I'll show you exactly what I mean. So I go to hit the serve, and all I'm gonna do is hit the ball, and see if I can hang out here for one to two seconds without wobbling all over the place. Looks really easy, give it a try, and you might be surprised how challenging it is to actually stay balanced through the serve. All right, so once you're balanced and you can do that 10 times in a row and hang out there for like two seconds, go on to the second step, which is rhythm. Okay, so our bodies love rhythm and we wanna get into a good rhythm when we're hitting the serve. That's gonna allow us to naturally produce more racket head speed, right? So here's how you do that. So what you're gonna do is start with your hands out like this and then you're gonna hug yourself, toss the ball up and hit. Really important thing is make sure that the hitting arm goes above the tossing arm before you hit. Okay, there's a little neurological trick to this uh, which we won't go into now, but here's how you do it. So you get set, and again, we wanna be balanced through the finish here. You're gonna cross them over, toss, and hit. And if you can do that, now you're really off to the races, you're in rhythm, okay? So go ahead and practice that 10 times. We're feeling pretty good, we're in balance, we're in rhythm. The third and final step is to be loose as a goose. And you gotta be loose as a goose, otherwise all of those forces that you're exerting on the death grip of the racket are gonna get in the way of the racket speed, which is what creates power. So one way to do that is to just take a few practice reps and notice on a scale of one to 10, how tightly or how loosely are you holding the racket? 10 being death grip and one being light as a feather. You wanna be somewhere in that two to three range if you can. So just notice what that's like, and that's really gonna help you. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning, if you're looking to win more tennis matches with this big serve, well, I got something you may be interested in. It's called the five biggest mistakes amateur tennis players make when trying to close out matches. And I was making a lot of these mistakes before I became aware of them. If you wanna know what that is, click on the link down below and download that PDF. It's really good stuff and it's totally free. And in the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and click the like button. Let me know in the comments section why you want more serve power and feel free to subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification. We upload every Thursday at 10 a.m. here from Club Osa. And with that, thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.